these girls so much. Ugh. Whoever is knocking on my door, just come on. I don't care who it is. Ugh. What the hell do you want? Nothing. I just need to have a word with you, but anyways, are you the name of Miss Trenchbull? Um, yes. And what about me? Hands behind your back. You're coming with me. Hey! Let me go right this instant. I am in the middle of reading here. No, you're not. You're done reading for today. Miss Trenchbull. You are under arrest. What for? I didn't do anything. And you don't even look like the Vion City Police. Where are you from? I am a Shadow Ops police officer from Houston, Texas. Don't give me that excuse. Miss Trenchbull. You are under arrest for child abusing Justine at the juvenile detention center. I saw a video of you putting Justine in a padded room with glass shards which you called the chokey. You even beaten up all of your students as a daily routine. Oh really, I don't care what she did, it could be because of how poorly you treated her. You should realize putting Justine in the chokey is child abuse and child endangerment. Her parents should realize that too. Child abuse is extremely illegal and is a serious crime. That's it. Come with me right now. You're going to my helicopter to Houston, Texas at the Harris County Courthouse for your punishment. The flight will take a few hours to get there. Oh my god. Let me go right now. You can't do this to me. Are you alright, Ella? No. I cannot believe that Officer Noah and those two wretched insane parents actually forced me to do that brain surgery on Justin back in October. Now I feel very bad for what I did. Yeah, but what have happened if you didn't do the surgery on Justine? Then I would be arrested and assaulted by those red and evil parents and be turned into a kid, just like what happened to Justin. And don't get me started on the police. They are corrupt criminals. Like, why would they? Hey, Jason, can you go get the door for me? Sure. Um, may we help you? Hello. Is that Ella right next to you? Yes. That is me. Is there something I can help you with? You are coming with me. Ella Grace. You are under arrest. Wait. What for? And you don't look like the Beyond City Police. Where are you from? I am a Shadow Ops police officer from Houston, Texas and you're under arrest for child manipulation and helping Justine's parents with their daughter's brain surgery. We saw in Mixed Up Grounded series that you were helping Officer Noah remove memories files of Justine's adult living. But Officer, I didn't want to do it. It was Officer Noah along with Sonny and Alice Scudder, who were Justin's parents that forced me to do the surgery. That's right. I agree with Ella about what she said. We were threatened by Officer Noah that Ella would either be arrested or turned into a kid and be beaten up by Sonny and Alice if we didn't do the surgery. Yeah, like what Jason said, I would be turned into a kid and be beaten up by Sonny and Alice if I didn't do the surgery on Justin. Yeah. But you still have to come with me, you still did the surgery, which means you support criminal activity. And you have the rights to remain silent, and have the right to an attorney, and if you cannot afford one, one will be appointed to you at the station. Now let's get in the helicopter. Alright Officer Tony and Travis, do you have that decoy set up ready like I told you to so we can catch Craig the Devil? We sure do. Officer Russell. Okay. I already have my decoy set for the Craig the Devil. I am going to send Craig to try and revive my Sonny Scudder and Justine decoy. Now to act in character. Oh my god. 
What happened to Sonny Scudder? Oh. Thank God you're here. Craig. Justin decided to kill her father with a shotgun and tried to hide it. She is getting a punishment day because of her evil crimes. How? I want you to revive her parents for me. Okay. I will do that right now, and I will make him evil. Ha 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 ha. Hold on. Why can I revive him? You're coming with us. Ha ha ha. We tricked you, Craig. You are now under arrest. Wait. What did I do? And Tony, don't you support Justine's parents and force Justine to live such a horrible life? Well, not anymore. I hate her parents now, because they were abusing their daughter and I don't like it at all, and the Vian City Police are very corrupted and insane, because they allow child abuse, so I quit being a police officer there. You are under arrest for resurrecting and reviving Sonny and Alice Scudder three times in a row. A.K.A. Justine's red child abusing parents. You should realize what they are doing to her is child abuse. And also, I have something to show you. Wait, what? You never told me you were. That's right. I'm a Shadow Ops Task Force police officer now from Houston, Texas. And you are in a lot of trouble with us right now. That's right. You revived Justine's parents three times. One, in the hotel, two, you revived them three weeks after they are executed and three. You revived her parents is Sudan after being killed by Sudan Solidus. That's it. You're coming with us to the Houston, Texas courthouse for your punishment. Come on. Let's go. What? Help, please stop dragging me, please stop dragging me, please stop dragging me. What? Hey guys, after I am done with something, can we four go get some lunch at McDonald's? Of course we can, Officer Smith. I still can't get through the fact that Justine and Annabelle ran away from their parents and got them kicked out of the hotel to live with another family who doesn't abuse the kids after that no good Justine blew up her old home. Ugh. Are we still talking about that criminal again? Of course, we're Mike. Justin is a no good troublemaker, and she still is. I still cannot forget when she killed her parents at another hotel back in 2022. I hope turning her parents red and making them evil will teach her a big lesson. Not only that, but they let her parents die in Sudan by the criminals during her vacation to find political conflict. As a result, I had to give her and Hannibal a punishment day too. And I even had to do the same thing to her as well, after she got her parents kicked out of the hotel and tried to move in with another family, who is the hotel manager's brother. As a result, I also helped her parents with their recent punishment day. I hope they don't cause trouble again, especially with Justine, since she has to live a horrible life with Annabelle. They should realize that they can't escape from Sonny and Alice Scudder. Well, shame on these horrible girls. I hope they get more suffering from their parents, oh wait. That's not enough. If they escape or cause trouble again, I will be the next to give them a punishment day, and it will be the worst one they have ever experienced. Oh really? That sounds like a good plan. Um, what was that loud banging? Um, I don't know. But it sounds like someone needs us very importantly. Whoever that is, you can come in. Um, I'll get it. No way. It's Officer Tony. He's back. And he's got four more people to join our police squad. Actually, we are not here for that reason. But are you officers Mike, Smith, Mark and Simon? We need to have a serious talk about something. Um, it looks like we are. What seems to be the problem? You four are coming with us. Hey! What are you doing to us? Let us go. We were about to get lunch at McDonald's. 
Well, you four are not getting lunch anywhere anymore. Officers Mike, Simon, Smith and Mark. You four are under arrest. What? What did we do? Police officers cannot be arrested. And besides, your four don't look like the Vian City Police. Where are you cops from? We are the Shadow Ops Task Force Police from Houston, Texas. And of course, police officers can get arrested if they commit a crime. You, Officer Mike, Smith, Simon and Mark are under arrest for corruption, child abuse and for helping Justine's parents with their punishment days. Officers Mark, Simon and Smith. We saw on all four videos called Justine Kills Her Parents, Justine and Annabelle's Punishment Day, Justine and Annabelle Misbehave on Vacation and Justine and Annabelle Run Away from Their Family videos that you are giving Justine and Annabelle Punishment Days. That's right. Officer Mark and Simon, we saw you revive Justine's parents with the devil and called Craig to revive her parents and make them evil parents so they can continue abusing their daughters. This proves that you allow child abuse. Officer Mark, we saw you forcing Justine and Annabelle to eat a hot pepper in a Punishment Day video. Officer Smith, we saw on Justine and Annabelle run away from their family video that you helped their parents with their Punishment Day. In the video, we saw you run Justine and Annabelle over with your cop car and force them to drink a whole bottle of vinegar. That is extremely crazy of you to do that to Justine and Annabelle. You should also realize that's child abuse, and her parents should realize that too. As for your officer Mike and Mark, we saw on two videos that both of you were siting with her parents instead of arresting them. You both should realize that Sonny and Alice Cutter are child abusers. That's not how police officers work. They are supposed to help children with their problems, not allow their parents to child abuse them even more. This proves that you all support child abuse. We don't care. Justin and Annabelle should be arrested. She deserves to be abused because she did a lot of crimes, like blowing up caramel ice cream, McDonald's in her own school with a bomb, prank calling her principal, destroyed her house twice, killed her parents at the hotel and burned down her juvenile detention center with Annabelle. Yeah. And we had to call Craig the Devil to revive Justin's parents, since she has to live a horrible life with Annabelle being abused for the rest of their natural born lives for all the crimes they've committed. I know. I saw what she did too back when I used to work as a police officer for Vian City. And I don't care about what she did. It could be because of her abusive parents and how they raised her. Wait. What is going on, and what are you doing to officers Simon, Mark, Smith and Mike? Did they do something wrong? Hello. Are you the sheriff of Vian City Police? If so, then I heard from one of your officers that you and the judge told the officers to keep an eye out for Justine and Annabelle. Um, yes. I did tell them to keep an eye out for them, and what about them? We saw videos of these officers abusing Justine and Annabelle, siding with her parents, reviving them twice at a hotel in Sudan, and helped their parents on three different punishment days. Oh. My. God. Officers Mike, Simon, Smith and Mark. I cannot believe you would do horrible things to Justine and Annabelle me and the judge meant to tell you that you were supposed to help them with their problems. You should realize that Justine's parents are child abusers and why on earth would the judge say it's okay to give Justine punishment days? That's it. You are being arrested and fired from your jobs as police officers and those actions will go in your permanent records. As for your officer Mike, can you tell us the address to Justin and Annabelle's home? Absolutely, not. I will not tell you all where they live because Justine and Annabelle will stay living a horrible life being abused by her parents for all the troubles they caused. And I will not tell you the address until Tony goes back to being an officer for Vian City and helps us abuse Justine and give her punishment days. Never. We will never join in on your police squad to abuse Justine on purpose and support child abuse. You have two options Officer Mike. Either you tell us where they live. Or I will call the judge to sentence you to life or have you executed. Your choice. Okay, okay. Fine. I will tell you where they live. They live in 800, Devil Street. I remember getting a call from them not too long ago. Alright then. You have the rights to remain silent. 